We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. What's up? What's up with this Ryan Garcia nigga, man? I'm saying, what's going on, man? Like, what? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I know I'm pretty sure I'm not going to repeat the remarks, you know what I'm saying? But he made some pretty wild racist comments, you know what I'm saying? In an uh, audio. I think he on drugs. That man. came out. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all heard yeah, it? Yeah, alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah, I heard them joints, bro. Okay, Bass heard it. Five, five, you heard it? I did not. I, I heard it. Didn't okay. It. Strategic heard it. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, what y'all, uh, I don't really want to ask y'all what y'all think about it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that, but what y'all think wrong with, with, the, with, with Ryan Garcia? Like, you know what I mean? Because sometimes it's like, yo, I know there, there's been certain times where we felt like, ah, right, he just trolling. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, like, he this, was. This don't, this don't feel like troll. Nah. Can I, can I speak on this? Please. So, I'm, I agree with um, Extremely Cold on this one, man. That whole, he got mental issues shit. And you know, that stick with me because I work in a psych ward for so many years. <laughs> and that mental shit is always an excuse for somebody's behavior. But yep. a lot of times... The mental, the shit they putting out has nothing to do with what they diagnosed for. The shit you put out is just you. This is who you are. And then as soon as shit go left, when you when we get the response back from your actions, then it's, oh, let's look at his mental background and he's mentally ill for, nah, that man said the shit he said because he wants to say it because he believed in that shit. Now, I do think he is I think he's under the influence. I think he's on some type of drug or he got some type of problem. He's he alcoholic. AAA. Yeah, it's some shit going on, but his true feelings is coming out because he he is he he is he is him. And we just seeing it right now. But if they push this mental shit on him, like he's no, nah, I don't want to hear that shit, bro. I don't, I don't care about that. Right. I don't care about that. If you mentally, if you, if if your mental is an issue. Then go get some go get some help. Let me see you in these groups. Let, let's see something going on. What's going on? How are you, how are you handling your mental? But if you ain't handling your mental, you ain't on no medication and all that other shit, then I don't want to hear none of that shit, bro. This is who you are. Okay. Bash guy, because you said you were. Um, I I mean it's a mixture of things. We in a different era now. We in the uh social media I want the attention, things ain't going right, I'm having breakdowns, kind of lifestyle, you know what I mean? So, I think all of it is a combination of everything, you know what I mean? I mean, he just lost everything, bro, you know what I mean? So, it could have been him looking for a viral moment here, he could be really going through something, woke up, he, you know, I don't know, drugs. It's, it's been a slippery slope for him for a while. And, uh... I would tell him, I wish him luck, you know what I mean? I mean, I wish him health, you know what I mean? Instead of, like, like necessarily, you know, canning him and <clears throat> canning him, getting him out of here, I just, I hope he get the help he need, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. This is how I feel stage, about it. I stage said you, you cannot, oh, he said you can control. He said you can control not saying particular things. Right in one sentence, bro. That's not true. That's not that's not always true though. No, but because I, I agree. You, My bad. Go ahead. No, it's not true all the time because like I said, I work in a psych ward. I got I have patients that when they are off their meds, they say shit they don't even fucking know. And I can I know that they don't know what they said. They didn't mean what they what they did. Because when they're on their medication and they at their right state of mind and they back functioning as a regular person or who they really are, they don't say nothing like that. They don't do, they don't even move like that. It's two, but it's a, it's two different, it's two different people. Yeah, I can but agree with you. Ask this, though, There's an underlining on that though. But no, but, but I'm, it, only, I'm only saying that what the stage is saying. But is it, is it, so 
All right, but do you feel is all right? Is it a mental issue or is it he under the influence of something? With him, me personally, I don't know his situation, and I ain't no damn doctor, but I think I think it's under some. I think he's under some type of st substance that's affecting his whatever depression he has going on. Yeah, he does have. And it's depression. making him and it's making him lash out. But I think he think these cameras and shit is not around on all the time and he just got caught he said what was really on his mind was really on his soul i believe that i believe he really said what he felt like saying okay he right. just got caught okay yeah i, I want to respond to it with a bad shit a little bit of, like i do think he needs to get help but it, i'm glad that they no longer allow him to box that's part of it. That's all part of the crash out, bro. This, yo, right now, other boxes that are coming up or trying to, di di life will set examples. He's an example mm -hmm. of what you don't want to be, what you exactly. don't want to follow, yeah. what you yep. don't want to think. Yep. It's, and that, that's, it's, it's that's what I was about to get into, Bash, where, like, he was an, an idol, whether we wanted him to be or not, because he was the boxer slash YouTuber. He had that that lower age group, like he, you know, he had a different uh, audience in a sense, right? He had the boxing audience, and then he had like the YouTube kids audience, right? So when these things happen, he got two different audiences clashing worlds on all the craziness that he got going on. So get him out the boxing world. He could do what the hell he want from the YouTube because they they do dumb shit and they crash out all the time on YouTube. YouTube will handle that. He's already a millionaire, so it's not like he needs the money. Get him the help that he needs and get him out the public view. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, with the antics that he's pulled in the past, the drama with his ex-wife, leaving her right after the pregnancy, the, the shit, the hoax that he said he did with the kids and seeing people rape kids and shit like that, the promoter fight, like the shit that's been ongoing for some time now, like... This is just the icing on the cake where it's like, this is the, oh, shit, like, you cross the line completely. Because now it's no longer like, oh, this nigga, he was playing games. Like, it's this I don't care if he was playing the games at this point, right? You said what you said. I read what he said. He, he talked about it and he said some things. And I was trying to look at what he actually said. But if he said what I think he said, it's a, it's a dub for me. Because that's not something you... As a person that's in the industry, you know the actions of your words, whether you're under influence or not. So even when you're under influence, that's still an underlining of something that you had either felt some type of way or felt like that was going to hurt people. So when you get high or drunk or whatever or under the influence, that filter that you probably normally have goes away. And that's when you start saying reckless shit. Because most people, that's what, you know, they call it like, oh, when they, uh, you get a couple bottles in you and they become brave. Like, now you want to fight everybody. And now you want to say the things you'll never say or whatever the case. Because now you don't care. That filter is gone. And that's why I, say, I think it was an underliner. He probably felt that way already. You know what I'm saying? It just came out. Yo, but right after that, like, <clears throat> a couple days later, because this was a little bit older, he was with Wiz Khalifa. And they were exchanging numbers and stuff. So this dude is a yeah. bug out. Yeah, I, I listen. I do think, but as I'm saying, it's an underlying. Like he, there are races that can deal with black people. Like that's another thing we gotta understand. There's people that that naturally like I don't like you, but I deal with you because you might be cool. You nah, might. I, be cool. I think he bipolar. I think something wrong with him. Like I was it saying, could be. I, it because could be. yo, the next, uh, the, uh, this is old. This is like a couple days. Then right after that, he was with Wiz Khalifa, and I don't even think Wiz Khalifa knew that he said that. Because of the way Wiz oh, Khalifa was yeah, embracing I just found him. what he you said. I mean? Oh my God. Okay. I, just yeah, think the, so. I think the drugs got him. I think the drugs is enhancing his his problems. But you know what? I kid. That's a legend. Me saying that he's on drugs. So let me. I'm not oh, gonna, yeah. I, don't <laughs> I don't want to say that. You know what I'm saying? I hear what y'all saying. Wow. Now, man, some of that shit fuck he that said. Nah. Yeah. Fuck some that. that I just think what he said. said it's hard, man, bro. That shit was different, script. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm reading what he said. Fuck that shit. Nah, get him up Yo, out listen, there. Yo, listen. He's a crack. He's been crashing out. This is a prime example of you don't want to be like that. Nobody wants to be like that, bro. That's it's tough. he been crashing out for a minute, bro. All right, that, bro. Listen, man. Hold on. One, gonna, one more thing, not, bro. One yeah, more thing, yeah, bro. Yeah. Come on. That, not gonna spend what he too said sound like he purposely was trying to hurt somebody. Like, he wasn't saying that. Like, in the stance where it just slipped up. Like, he said that trying to hurt people intentionally. Fuck that shit. Pack him up. 
Get him out of here. Yeah, pack him up.